The Inklings of Oxford illuminates the rich history that abounds around every corner in this remarkable city, including traces of the Inklings, a special group of friends who changed literature forever. In 1926, J.R.R. Tolkien started a group to read sagas and myths in the old Icelandic language. The group would later become the Inklings and the root of Tolkien's strong friendship with C.S. Lewis, or to friends simply Jack. Lewis, a thoroughgoing atheist, experienced a slow conversion to the Christian faith. It was Tolkien who told Lewis, the story of Jesus is like all the other stories, with one tremendous difference. It really happened. The idea of a true myth hit Lewis like lightning, and it spread like fire. The Inklings were a simmering pot of ideas, where writings were read out loud over beer and smoke at Oxford pubs, like the famed Eagle and Child. While Tolkien faced decades of uncertainty working on The Lord of the Rings, the Inklings urged him on. Even the landscapes of the Shire and Narnia lay close at hand to the countryside surrounding Oxford. As for the Fellowship of the Ring, Tolkien needed to look no further than the Inklings' motley crew. They were as diverse as hobbits, dwarves, and elves, yet were held together by a bond of friendship. They were a community of many writers and talents, including Lewis's brother Warney, Charles Williams, Hugo Dyson, and Lord David Cecil. And in this old, remarkable city, with its dreaming spires, it can still be said, your sons and daughters will prophesy, your young men will see visions, your old men will dream dreams. The Inklings of Oxford by Harry Lee Poe and James Ray Veneman. Available wherever books are sold.